Tonight, a potential savior for Bonton. Our partners at Biz Times report a group of investors which own malls could buy the company, potentially keeping anchor stores like the downtown Milwaukee location open. I take the skywalk through, so I walk through there all the time, and I, you know, it's the women's department, so I see everything. So, um, yeah, I kind of shop there a lot. <laughs> Nearby workers like Maria Whitehead say they'd be disappointed to see Boston store go. Bonton notified the state last week of a possible shutdown that would close six local stores and lay off thousands of workers. I'd be sad for the people who work there, but yeah. in terms of product, I don't, I don't have anything from there, so it's not not that big for me. The sale could save those jobs. Court documents show the investors plan to keep most employees and would not liquidate the stores. Declining sales forced Bonton to file for bankruptcy earlier this year, owing millions to creditors. I tend to think of specific retailers. Um, I'll think of department stores eventually, but it's not the first thing. I've been in there before and it's just like I haven't found much that's my style. Ben joins us live now at the Boston store downtown and Ben, a bankruptcy auction set for today for Bonton's assets is now delayed. Adrian, it's been delayed to next Monday, and experts see that as a good thing. The company, the investor group, rather, looking to buy Bonton could be jumping through some legal hoops, doing their due diligence to buy the company, which, of course, does take some time. Adrian.